Daredevil, the gritty tale of a blind lawyer who dresses up in a suit to get stabbed a bunch. Also, an evil giant smooth man who likes art and owns New York City. Meet Daredevil, Matt Murdock, a goody two-shoes lawyer who got nuclear goop splashed in his eyeballs. As a result, he's blind, but the rest of his senses are heightened to extreme levels. With his powers, he takes up the cause of protecting the innocent from the streets to the courtroom. The show deals with the pressing issue of saving the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of Manhattan. Yeah, they focus so much on Hell's Kitchen in this show that if I'm a bad guy, I'm thinking I'm just gonna commit crimes outside of that area. Just run my corrupt taxi company out of Bushwick. And Daredevil's not gonna hop on the L train to come kick your ass. He doesn't care. Yeah, if there's a murder happening on 33rd Street and Daredevil's on 34th, he's just gonna be like, eh, not my jurisdiction. Also, the Port Authority is hands down the most frightening place in Hell's Kitchen, maybe even all of New York City, and it doesn't appear even once in the first season of Daredevil. Well, that's because all the crime is happening in your normal crimey places, Bob. Alleys under the bridge, down by the docks, away from the docks, on a roof, in a studio apartment. Pretty much don't go near any of these places and you'll be okay. You're describing everywhere. Well, that's America in 2015, buddy. Murdoch is joined by Rosario Dawson, who plays the most gifted nurse in the world, Karen Page, a murderer's secretary, and Foggy Nelson, a human pinata waiting to be tortured and beaten repeatedly by Daredevil's enemies in future seasons. Vincent D'Onofrio plays supervillain Wilson Fisk, Kingpin. He's a big, sweaty, baritone baby who likes nicely plated Italian food. He also occasionally crushes men's skulls with his hands. Fisk and Daredevil quickly become arch nemeses, foiling each other at every turn. By foiling, I mean that Murdoch, like, barely stops Fisk's plans and repeatedly gets his ass kicked. Daredevil gets cut up like like cheese at a fancy party in this show. He is constantly bleeding, and his friends have no idea. He walks into the office with a crushed voice box and his rib cage sticking out of his chest, and Foggy's just like, what's up, buddy? Fall in the shower again? He starts bleeding in episode one and has an open wound for the rest of the series. Oh, and keep in mind that this is all taking place in the same city where, like, a few months ago, a big green man tackled a space turtle through Grand Central Station. Yeah, if you're thinking about that while watching this show, you're not going to give a shit about any of Daredevil. His biggest accomplishment is keeping a woman's rent increase under 20 20% or something. I don't know. I didn't finish. But it's gritty and realistic. No big green guys in this show. It's the real world. It's a big white guy. TLDW, only good things can come from nuclear waste.